Hello everyone and welcome back to your very own channel Geeks for Geeks. In this video we are going to discuss simple yet effective methods which will guarantee you money setting up the comfort of your house. Number one is content writing. Yes, indeed content writing gives you a lot of money if you channelize it on the right platform. A lot of articles is actually consumed every day, especially a lot of technical content is consumed every day. You pick a niche topic and you write a good content on it and then publish it on art on websites like Medium or Contena that will guarantee you money and you can look on for different websites as well which gives you money by just publishing articles on it. Number two is chatbots. Chatbots are used widely by a lot of industries and creating chatbots actually requires no code at all. Have you heard of something called as Rasa? If not, then search about Rasa. By using Rasa, you can make chatbots which require no code at all. You just have to put your data and you can generate data by using GCP as well, which is a Google Cloud Platform. You get your data, you put it on Rasa and you can get a chatbot with good learning rate and you know good efficiency as well. So this is the second method. Third point, have you heard of website as a service? or creating templates can give you money. Yes, and I'm not kidding it. So if you are someone who knows web development, even if you know basic HTML, CSS, you can create WordPress plugins, you can create templates, or you can also create, you know, static websites for people who just want a landing page. And you can earn good amount of money by even creating static websites. You can also create small apps and then also publish it on Play Store and then also sell it for people to use it. Fourth one, this actually requires a lot of learning and a lot of knowledge, but once you achieve this, you can actually earn a lot. It's basically called as building API bridges. So a lot of company actually require APIs, where basically APIs, you know, is basically used to show data or you get data from an API, whatever it can, the data can be just as static data or it can also be dynamic data. So basically companies are looking for people who can, you know, create these APIs rather than investing, like small startups are actually looking for them rather than, you know, contacting big companies and getting from them. So if you're someone who is well versed with creating APIs, then you can also approach these small startups that you can create APIs, show them your work and then earn easy money. Apart from the technical aspect, there are something non-technical that you can do. One, basically, let's say if you are interested into clicking pictures or images, you can actually, you know, click stock images and also sell it. So there are companies or there are websites which basically pay you for uploading your stock images onto them. Even the same goes with video editing as well. So it basically takes, you know, like let's say it would take 15 to 20 days for you to develop that skill of video editing. Like you can at least edit basic videos. I'm not talking about, you know, high-end videos. You can at least edit edit some basic reels or some basic videos, like, you know, adding, uh, adding text to it, adding some basic animation to it. And then you can also earn a lot of money through video editing as well. Six one, content creation. A lot of edtech startups, actually lack good quality content creators. Now, when I say content creation, I don't only mean about writing, writing articles, but I actually also mean about curriculum development. So a lot of edtech startups do not have good curriculum designers or good curric curriculum developers. So let's say if you have mastered any language, let's say Python or you have mastered web development or you have mastered app development. So, and you know that you can, you know, create curriculum, which would take someone from the scratch right till the advance. So you can create a curriculum and also pitch to these edtech startups and they will be happy to buy all of these curriculums from you. Seven point, become a mentor. It is tricky, it is difficult, but with time and practice, you can become a good mentor. A lot of people have good quality content with them, but they lack guidance. Like they do not know the proper roadmap or the proper steps. And when they are stuck, there is no one to guide them and to lead them. So you can become a mentor, you can teach them, you can guide them, and you can also earn money while doing all of these things. Eight point. Have you heard of hackathons? I hope you might have heard of hackathons. Now there are a lot of edtech startups which are actually organizing a lot of hackathons and are actually paying hefty money for it. I heard somewhere where a startup was actually paying up to two to three lakh rupees for a hackathon. And you know, winning a hackathon is not 
not that difficult. You have to spend 24 to 48 hours building a product. So it is actually a win-win situation where you're learning, you're building, you can showcase your products and your projects. And if selected, if it's the best, you can also stand a chance to win the hackathon. If not, then you can also stand a chance to get internship or, you know, also get placed at some companies. Even bug bounty, you might have heard of bug bounty. If not, then you can search for what bug bounty is. You can, you know, find bugs in a lot of different websites and then you can just uh, show them that this is the bug and, you know, uh, if, if you can solve it, that is a cherry on the cake. But even if you show them the bug, they also pay you for finding the bug as well. So you can use your skill over here of finding bugs and, you know, of also participating in hackathon to earn good money while you are a student. So that's it from this video. I hope you have actually learned something new and uh, informative. We discussed a lot of methods by which you can earn money while just still being a student. Uh, I hope you apply these methods, even if it is video editing or Photoshop or creating curriculum or content. Just use these methods, just start, you know, even taking baby step is very important. Just start and you can explore a whole new world. A lot of times we just uh, stick to our places and just uh, think that I cannot do it. But I'll encourage you to just start because I started like this only. You know, I started writing one single article and I have written many articles till now on for geeks for geeks website. So just start doing it and you can explore a whole new world and I uh, wish you all the best uh, in this journey you know of uh, working as a freelancer and I hope to see your content uh, soon thank you and bye bye